It's just coming up to seven o'clock. Time to get the news, travel and weather where you are this morning. Good morning. Well, as you can see, due to unforeseen circumstances, we can't bring you the usual reporting Scotland bulletin at the moment. So in the meantime, let's take a look at our news headlines this morning. The Scottish Government has outlined how it has allocated millions of pounds of extra funding to tackle the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. The Finance Secretary, Kit Forbes, has told MSPs that £600 million has been put aside for health and social care, while £570 million is earmarked for business support. There's also more money for transport, local councils and the police. Ministers have faced accusations from opponents of hoarding some of the funding and of being too slow to get financial help to businesses hit hard by Covid restrictions. A Holyrood probe into the construction of two overdue and over-budget ferries for CalMac has branded the management process a catastrophic failure. Former bosses at Ferguson Shipyard, Ministers Stato and Seamal and Transport Scotland are all criticised in the report. The Scottish Government said it will consider the report and respond to its recommendations in due course. The stars of Scottish Screen celebrated the past 12 months in TV, film and gaming at the BAFTA Scotland Awards last night. Outlander won the Audience Award at the virtual ceremony. Stanley Baxter received an award for outstanding contribution to film and television. Other winners include the BBC Scotland drama Guilt, actress Glenda Jackson and sex education star Chuti Gatwa. Well done to all the winners. Now your weather for Wednesday. It's a mainly cloudy morning for most with some showers. It will become brighter for a time with some spells of sunshine. Cloud will increase from the southwest later and we'll see highs of 5 to 8 Celsius. Tonight, cloud will thicken across the south and west, but clearer spells elsewhere. Some outbreaks of patchy rain arrive in the west with strengthening southeasterly winds. Lows will be close to freezing, but less cold under the cloud. And that's the news headlines and your weather. Once again, our apologies for the loss of Reporting Scotland this morning due to unforeseen circumstances. In a moment, we will return to the BBC Breakfast team in Salford and we'll update you throughout the morning here on BBC One Scotland. This is BBC One Scotland. Now we can return to the BBC Breakfast team in Salford. Nothing brings... Hello, good morning. Well, as you can see, due to unforeseen circumstances, we can't bring you the usual Reporting Scotland bulletin at the moment. So, in the meantime, let's take a look at our news headlines this morning. The Scottish Government has outlined how it... So, do wrap up well. And that's the news headlines and your weather. Once again, our apologies for the loss of Reporting Scotland this morning due to unforeseen circumstances. It's back to the BBC Breakfast team in Salford now, and we will update you throughout the morning here on BBC One Scotland.
Good morning, this is Breakfast with Dan Walker and Sally. Yes, I think it could work out. And uh, someone, Mike, says that uh, Barbara seems like she could solve everything. Can she sort out your wonky baubles on your tree? I bet she could. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I bet you any one of those four people could sort out those baubles. <laughs> it was lovely to have them on. Uh, news, travel and weather, wherever you're watching. Good morning. Well, as you can see, due to unforeseen circumstances, we are unable to bring you the usual Reporting Scotland bulletin at the moment. In the meantime, let's take a look at our news headlines this Wednesday morning. The Scottish Government has outlined how it has out south-easterly winds. Lows will be close to freezing, but less cold under the clouds. And that's your breakfast news headlines and your weather for Wednesday morning. Once again, our apologies for the loss of Reporting Scotland this morning due to unforeseen circumstances. In the meantime, I'll hand you back to Dan and Sally at BBC Breakfast. Do have a good morning.